Tonight, a new call to ban the device. Investigators say Stephen Paddock used to kill so many people in such a short period of time. Gun advocates and local law enforcement want bump stocks banned altogether. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live tonight in Tampa with more on that. Ryan. You know, I did some checking around the city, guys, tonight and found out it is very rare to find one of these bump stocks sold at any gun store across the Tampa Bay area. Now, here at uh, Shooting Sports Incorporated off Dale Mabry Highway, they say they refuse to sell the device because they say it lets shooters skirt the law. The Las Vegas massacre now sparking debate over a legal device used by alleged mass murderer Stephen Paddock. It was kind of a fish in a barrel situation. Uh, those bump fire stocks are extremely uncontrollable, but in his case, he didn't really need control. Investigators discovered bump stocks on some of Paddock's weapons. The stocks let a semi-automatic gun perform like a fully automatic weapon. Matt Pelham at Shooting Sports shows us how they work. If you hold your finger on that barrier, it rams back onto uh, the trigger again. Bump stocks are typically sold online, but tonight the company that claims to have invented them has suspended sales. We can solve this problem. Polk County Sheriff and longtime gun rights advocate Grady Judd wants Congress to ban bump stocks. He also wants a 10-year sentence for people who make them. Hardcore Republicans who looked me, who talked to me on the phone and told me specifically, Sheriff, you go for it. We need to outlaw those items. The sheriff and National Rifle Association say the devices let people bypass federal law, avoiding the expense and lengthy wait to buy a legal automatic weapon. And I also found out tonight, according to these documents from the ATF, the state of Florida ranks second in the nation for the highest number of fully automatic weapons owned in any state with just over 36,000 of those firearms in Florida. Reporting live tonight in Tampa, Ryan Smith. ABC Action News.